guys welcome and welcome back to my channel so recently i have read this novel of women at 1.0 so i thought of summarizing this intriguing story to all you people so let us start it is a egyptian writer who has written this novel her name is naval e sadwi which describes her experience as a psychiatrist studying the psychological effects of a prison of a female prisoner she state in an introduction that when she was conducting these studies she has no idea that one day she would be imprisoned by the government on one visit to kanate prison naval meets a doctor who tells her that there is a prison which is truly remarkable she is awaiting the death penalty for killing a man but the doctor cannot believe that woman is capable of killing any naval goes to fedos cell and fedos begins to tell her story She was born into an extremely poor family in the countryside. Her father often beat her mother. Sometimes he beat her as well. Fidos used to play in the fields with the other children. A boy named Mohammedin was her special playmate. And when they were young, they used to play bride and bridegroom. Fidos got pleasure from her sexual experiments with Mohammedin. Fidos's mother and father died after some time, and Fidos sent to live with her uncle, sometimes scholar who lives in Cairo. Back at her uncle's house, Fidos is miserable. One night she overhears her aunt and uncle discussing whether they will marry Firdaus to her aunt old uncle Sheikh Mohammed he is 60 and has a facial deformity Firdaus runs away but while she is on the street she is terrified by the strange man who approaches her so she returns home they marry to her Sheikh Mohammed he is selfish and stingy and beats Firdaus his facial deformity is a large swelling on his chin with a hole in the middle that leak pus After one bad beating, Fidos turns away. She ends up in a coffee shop where she meets Bayomi, the coffee shop owner. She goes with him with his apartment and first Bayomi is kind to Fidos. Then Fidos announces that she want to get a job and Bayomi is enraged. He beats her and begin to lock her in the apartment when he leaves. He brings his friends and allows her to have sex with her. Fidos escapes with the help of a neighbor and flees Bayomi's apartment. and the sick of her dos rest at nile river and feels hopeless and until an wealthy looking woman approaches her her name is sharifa and she is prostitute she takes her dos in and teaches her to become a high class prostitute sharifa makes money from her dos one night when her friend fozi comes over her dos overhears sharifa and fozi fighting over who will get to keep her so she runs away becomes her own boss and eventually she has a beautiful home and expensive things one night a client named dia tells her that she is not a respectable woman and fidos is devastated she gives her nice apartment and beautiful things moves into a shack and begins working as an office assistant there she realizes that the life of her assistant is in many ways worse than a life of prostitute she meets a man named ibrahim and falls in love with him They have a relationship and Firdaus begins to feel that the world is not so horrible until she discovers that Ibrahim has become engaged to the boss daughters. Firdaus leaves the company and become a prostitute again. She is very expensive, very popular. Many powerful men come to her and she turns some of them away to prove that she has a power over her body. And because she despises them, Ibrahim comes to her and she realizes he never loved her, rather he just wanted to free sex. A pimp tries to take over her Fedos life and for a little while she lets him then they fight and she kills him shortly after that Fedos meets an Arab prince who takes her home and offers her 3000 dollar she sleeps with him rips up the money and slaps him terrified the man calls the police they come and arrest Fedos Fedos is tried and sentenced to death she is She tells Nawal just waiting to die because she excited to go somewhere new. She knows that the men who sentenced her wanted to kill her because they are afraid of the truth she has to tell. Not because they are afraid she kills her again. After she finishes her story, police came to her cell and take her away to be executed. This was the story of Woman at Point Zero. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.